What can we do for you, sir? <gasps> the, the essence of Christmas has been stolen. What? Why, that's terrible. The world will never be the same. Who stole it? I, I think it was stolen by the giant at the top of the beanstalk. You mean the Jack and the Beanstalk giant? Yes, he has it in a bottle. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. We've got to get it back. Of course, you must try to get back the essence of Christmas. Rankin Bass present Festival of Family Classics. Dickens' delightfully exciting escapade, A Christmas Tree. So bring on the whole family. Ah, Christmas. It's all about. I hear it in the air, feel it in my heart, and even see it in a bakery shop window. Just look at all those delightful goodies. Fruit cakes, sugar plums, Christmas tarts. There's no other season quite like it. Oh, Mr. Dickens, Peter and I are so excited that you are going to spend Christmas Eve at our house. It's the most wonderful night of the year and should be spent with children. Children understand Christmas. But you're Charles Dickens. You know so much about Christmas. Look at all the wonderful stories you've written. The Christmas Carol, Cricket on the Hearth. I'll bet you could tell us what Christmas used to be like. What was your favorite Christmas? Which is your favorite Christmas story? Peter and I were wondering, what was Christmas like when you were a boy? Which is the best Christmas? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now let's take the questions one at a time. Mary, you wanted to know what Christmas was like when I was a boy. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what it was like, but you both must live it. Oh, we will. Yeah. Was there a Christmas tree? Oh, yes. It's a German invention, but a very important part of Christmas. If we shouldn't stand here talking. You have to be home. I'll tell you all about Christmas at your house. When I was a boy, the tree seemed much larger. My goodness. As large as that? <laughs> oh, much, much larger. It was all toys at first. <laughs> I look into my youngest Christmas recollections. Horatio, the giant from Jack and the Beanstalk. Mantu, the evil magician. Mantu's crystal ball. The snow-breathing dragon of Okabar. The magic icicle. You see, Christmas was more than toys. It was adventure as well. Who are you? I'm Peter Piper. Peter Piper? Are you really Peter Piper? Did you really eat the peck of pickled peppers? Well, <laughs> that's a little exaggerated, but I had a stomachache for over a week. What can we do for you, sir? The essence of Christmas has been stolen. What? Why, that's terrible. The world will never be the same. Who stole it? I, I think it was stolen by the giant at the top of the beanstalk. You mean the Jack and the Beanstalk giant? Yes, he has it in a bottle. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. We've got to get it back. Of course, you must try to get back the essence of Christmas. Look, Mary, it's a road. Maybe we should go back down. Remember, it's a real giant. Oh, come on. I'm not afraid of him. Look, Peter. Look at what? It went behind a Christmas tree. I think it was a mouse. But I've never seen a mouse like that before. Hello back there. Who are you? Ahem. Allow me to introduce myself. 
My name is Percival. You can talk. A minor accomplishment, I assure you. Well, tell us something, Percy. I do not like the name Percy. I will thank you to refer to me as Percival. I'm very sorry, but tell me, does the giant still live here? Indeed he does, but what would you want with him? We want to see him. He has stolen the essence of Christmas. Yes, and the world will never be the same without it. You'll get more than you bargain for from him. He's mean, ugly, and vicious. He's done some terrible things. How do we get to see him? Well, just follow the road. His castle is at the end of it. But I would advise you to go back. I'm not afraid of any old giant. Come along, Mary. Thank you, Percival. I hope we meet again. This must be it. I'll knock. Oh, my. Two of you. Oh, dear. Do you know where you are? Is this where the giant lives? Yes, it is. And he hates children. You should know that. See, Peter? Let's go back. Ever since that awful boy Jack took everything and that terrible fall he had, he just can't stand the sight of children. What smells so good? I'm starving. I'm preparing the giant's Christmas dinner. Uh, would you like some? He's asleep now. Oh, thank you. I've prepared all the things he likes. Peter, look at the size of that oven. Yes, but I never get to use it. He eats all fried foods. Fee-fi-fo-fum. Oh, dear. He's awake. Quickly, hide in the oven. Fee-fi-fo-fum. I smell... Horatio, really? You've been saying that tired old rhyme for years. Don't you think I get tired of hearing it? Oh, I'm sorry, Esmeralda. How about, uh, foo-fi-fum-fee? Who climbed up the beanstalk tree? Really, Horatio? Uh, five fum fee fo whoever is here has got to go. Oh, nothing I do seems to please you anymore. Well, I want my Christmas dinner. It's just about ready, Horatio. Like the oven. It's cold in here. Uh, the oven? Yes, the oven. Get a roaring fire going. What are we going to do now? I don't know. <coughs> If I might make a suggestion. Percival, what are you doing here? I've come for my annual Christmas feast. Uninvited, of course. He doesn't like mice either, but he leaves the most delicious crumbs. But how do we get out of here? Why, the way I came in, of course. Up the flue. Will we fit? This is a very large oven, so it has a very large flue. You'll have to shinny up. Humans are not as agile as mice. Follow me. What? was that? What was what? That! So... Esmeralda, you're still hiding kids after what that Jack did to me. Well, these won't get away. At last, I'll have my revenge. <laughs> I hate kids. I hate them, hate them, hate them. Horatio, remember your blood pressure. Where did they go? They're out of the castle by now. Let them go. Not on your life. Let's make a run for the beanstalk. You will never make it to the beanstalk. Run, Mary. That big lummox can't run fast. You are quite correct about his speed, but if you'll forgive the humor at a time like this, he does take giant steps. Keep him going. I think I can slow him down. <sighs> that ought to hold him for a while. If you'll forgive me, I will say that the giant has branched out recently. Can you come with us, Percival? Well, that's very kind of you, but I don't think they would understand me down there. Well, then, 
I just want you to know that I think you're wonderful. <laughs> You'd better hurry. He can't be far behind. Come back here! No! No! They've done it to me again! I hate kids! I hate them! I hate them! I hate them! Did they get away? Yes, and ever since I had that terrible fall, I'm afraid of heights. So I couldn't follow them. I'll be the laughing stock of the MGOTW. The MGOTW? Yes, they only meet once every hundred years, so of course you never heard of them. But what is the MGOTW? It's the mean giants of the world. <laughs> there they are. We thought you'd never get here. The problem is more serious than we thought. Oh, we failed. We didn't get the essence of Christmas. We were lucky just to get out of there ourselves. But, but the giant doesn't have it. Oh, who does? <gasps> Did you ever hear of Man too, the evil magician? No. Who is he? He's one of the most powerful magicians in the world. He has stolen the essence of Christmas from the giant. Oh, dear. Without the essence, there won't be any Christmas. The essence is the thing itself. The joy, the warmth, the goodness. He lives in a castle in the east. You must get to him and release the essence. How do we get there? There are three obstacles. One is the river of the Gaddywine. The Gaddywine? These were once peaceful river elves, but Mantu changed them into trolls to do his bidding. What is the next obstacle? Orlando, the dragon of Okabar. He's a real snow-breathing dragon. Need I say more? And the third obstacle? Oh, dear. Man to himself. He's very powerful. But how do we get there? You'll use the star from the top of the Christmas tree. We can ride the star to reach Man to? Just like a magic carpet? Uh, yes. And when you reach him, release the essence of Christmas. Good luck. Thank you. Goodbye. We'll try. This must be the river of the Gaddywine. Who are you? I'll ask the questions. What is your business? We've come to get the essence of Christmas back from Mantu. Mantu? He stole the essence of Christmas. The world won't be the same unless we can get it back. Are you a king? I am King Thorgal of the Gaddywarn, but I cannot help you where Mantu is concerned. He is a most powerful magician. But you could let us go. If I let you go, and Mantu found out about it, there's no telling what he would do to us. We wouldn't tell. With his magic, he would know without being told. Please. Enough talk. Take them away until I decide what to do with him. We've got to find some way to get out of here. But how? We could make a run for it. Even if we got out, what good would that do? We don't have the star, and we certainly couldn't swim in that river. We've got to think of something. We can't just wait here. But I want no part of that river again. It looks pretty peaceful from here. Maybe we could swim to the other side. Mary, do you see that? It's the star. If only we could get to it. Well, we are surely going to try. You knock over the guard on the right, and I'll hit the one on the left. Grab their candy canes and then run. And don't look back until we reach the star. Oh, that was close. Too close. Oh, I don't think I like all this adventure. 
Snowman feels like. I think I've got an idea. I hope so. We could surely use one right now. Are there any branches or leaves in here? All over the place. Why? We are going to start a fire. But how? I have a Christmas candle here and some matches. We will melt Orlando. What do I do with them? Put them on his foot or a claw or whatever that is. We're going to give him a hot foot? Yes, a jolly good old-fashioned hot foot. Ah, just what I was looking for. Stand back, Mary. Now, see how you like it. It worked! We overcame two obstacles. Yes, and now the worst of them all. Mantu himself. Curses. They've overcome the second obstacle. Well, they'll not get the essence of Christmas. They'll be arriving soon, but I'll be ready for them. <laughs> Guard, bring me the carpet and the magic icicle. They'll find they're not the only ones that can fly. <laughs> and they know that no one escapes the magic icicle. Rise! We must be almost there, Mary. I wish we knew what to expect. After what we've been through, I would say we can expect the very worst. What's that? So, thought you would get the essence of Christmas from me, eh? And we will, too. Are you Mantu or some other monster he dreamed up? I am Mantu, you brash young man. And I'll show you just how powerful I can be. This is a magic icicle and does not stop its flight until it reaches its victim. You! Look out, Peter! Christmas has escaped! No thanks to you. But don't you see? All of my spells are broken. That's why I stole the essence, so that I could do evil. Now I can't do evil anymore. But somehow, it doesn't matter. Do you feel it, Peter? Do you feel how warm and wonderful everything is? It is the greatest feeling in the world. <laughs> 
I feel it too. And you're right. It's wonderful. Oh, I'm so glad you can feel it too, Mantu. Now we can wish you a Merry Christmas. Goodbye, Mantu. And Merry Christmas. I say, wake up, you two. I started to tell you all about Christmas past. Christmas as I remember it. Living all the wonderful adventures as only children can. And you fell asleep. <laughs> oh, Mr. Dickens, we weren't asleep. No, we were off on a Christmas adventure with you. You were there with us, helping us get back the essence of Christmas. It was wonderful, even if I got scared at times. I'm certainly glad it was Christmas past, though. But it surely was exciting and fun. I'm glad it was Christmas past, too, and that you're here with us to tell us about it this Christmas. Yes, it makes this Christmas the best Christmas. That's right. The best Christmas is this Christmas. It will always be that way. As long as there is Christmas, and as long as there are children to love it, we will always have the hope for peace on Earth and goodwill toward men. Merry Christmas, Mr. Dickens. Merry Christmas, Mr. Dickens. Merry Christmas, children. Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday.